Hi everyone, Steph here. Thank you so much for stopping by. Today's video is a video response to Christina, who is Crafty Paws here on YouTube. Hi, Christina. Uh, she's having a challenge for her great grandmother in law, um, Jacqueline's birthday, 99 years old. Oh my God, such a huge blessing um, to have seen that number. And I wish her many more blessed birthdays. So Christina is a really sweet person and she's so supportive of everyone. She tries to join all her, um, her subbies and friends challenge that's going on on YouTube. And she have participated in a, a few of my challenge for the Use Your Stamps Mondays. Now, I don't usually do a lot of challenges that I have to send stuff because I'm international and the timing is it's just it just takes too long to reach and sometimes it's late so um but i had to try for christina so uh, you had to create a card for jacqueline's and she is quite the fashionista love pinks and um all things girly and she's from paris and so i was happy to create this card for her but first let me show you what i've used to create the card i've used the stamp and it's a happy birthday with a lot of confetti and flourish. Love it. And I've used this Paris stamp. I love this stamp. And I've used this Grappy Father 5 Hamptons Art Sizzix stamp and die set. And it is called Clocks. That's it. <laughs> Clocks. Ooh, sorry for the glare. And I've used this um, word, Timeless, as stamped and die cut it. And I've used this. Craft Smart glitter paint as usual, and uh, I've used the uh, Prima Lyric papers. It's an older line, but it's a beautiful, beautiful line. I love the soft colors with the pop of um, black in it, and I've also used the Florida Lace rectangles from Spellbinders. I use the largest one. So let me show you my card that I made for Jacqueline. I absolutely love it oh my gosh it's really it's a soft pink and I absolutely love it so um, yeah let's start I have a it's like a marble color soft pink cardstock that I layer on top of the white cardstock base and the second layer is that Fleur de Lis rectangle now if you see the card is like a square so what I did um, to give the illusion that the die cut um, is all around what I did is I layered it and I know the layout that I wanted it wouldn't be showing here so I just cut a piece of it I cut this corner and I put it more here that way you can see it peeking out there give the illusion that it's all the way around so this is from the um, paper collection and I fussy cut it out it's a beautiful collage like frame and with the beautiful roses there and I put some little flowers there from Prima and these are from Prima as well I just layered them to give different texture with the burlap and the paper and put some bling in there and um, I stamp and fussy cut the Paris and I use that glitter paint that I showed you I hope you could see all that glitter it's so pretty and underneath what I did is I stamp um, the stamp again on fun foam and then I cut it out just so I could have that dimension if you could see it there This is also layered up on fun foam as well So I just put this layer and I trace around it just to have everything popped up Here is um, another image from the collection that I fussy cut out absolutely love it this doily looking image and then this beautiful clock with the rose called rose collage and this bee so pretty here is the um, the sentiment that I stamp and um, die cut so I use the top layer is cardstock and the second layer is fun foam again and I love using fun foam for intricate type dimension because um, you don't have to be cutting um, those little foam dots or whatever to give that dimension you have the fun foam that is perfectly cut perfectly even to the original die cut that you want 
and here what I did is I just stamped and cut out another layer with cardstock ink the edges and put it there because I didn't want it to blend too much into this background I wanted another layer to differentiate the the two layers so like I've mentioned my floral cluster there and some bling here in the corner and the inside I just layered some paper and I have my happy birthday in there now I'm thinking I'm gonna do another die cut of this and I'm gonna write a personal message to Jacqueline and I'm gonna put it here um, I didn't do it yet because <laughs> I didn't want to make a mistake so I'm gonna take my time and do that there so this is Jacqueline's birthday card I hope you like it Christine and I hope Jacqueline loves it and also for the challenge to get extra um, entry into the challenge Christina asked that um, if we can make Christmas cards for the seniors um, in the home where Jacqueline lives so I am going to send some cards but this one here I'm going to give to Jacqueline herself um, and I have a bunch of these cards that I'm going to show you I had in my user stamps challenge if you have missed that I will have the link to the playlist either here on the screen or in the description box below so this one is a dimensional one I've made two I've made one that is mailable and I have this one that's quite dimensional so this one Christina is going to be for Jacqueline for um, Christmas and I am not going to go into details of this because like I said I have it in the um, playlist already so that's true and I recently showed this one so if you like more details on these guys just check out the playlist if you have missed them and now these ones that I'm going to show you I did not do a video I just quickly whip them up and they're quite um, easy um, this I don't have a tree stamp so what I did is I use the stress inks and um, well not the stress inks sorry I misspoke um, stamping up inks like three different um, colors of green and I just used sponge and I did it in an angle to create that illusion of a tree and I use a stamp as the garland that you would have around the tree and this is a spellbinders ornament die have some bling there and um, this is a stamp I fussy cut out and I stamp oh holy night this is an Inca Nica do corner stamp there I layered some papers and the inside I did the same layer some papers and I did that stamp again that corner stamp and a sentiment there so this one is flat <laughs> and the other one I did exactly the same technique just that um, I have red layer paper instead of the green on this one and I did those same ornaments but I made them dimensional so they are popped up but you could flatten them down if you're gonna mail them I forgot to mention that I have um, to, a star bling there as a tree topper so an inside is exactly the same so that's that and this is another one that I quickly whipped up um, this gold um, filigree cut that you're seeing there that's from Anna Griffin I love that and I stamped joy there did a I think this is a I'm not sure what that that is not sure but anyway um, I stamped it using because this is a shimmer paper I had to use stays on and I just cut different layers cut the last two layers in half that way and I just open them up stick the original the top layer to give the illusion that you know it's several size that I cut but it's one and um, these are Prima poinsettias um, that you put together to create a flower and this is a strip of the paper from a deck of the view Christmas stack that I have so and the inside I just stamped that stamp so what I did I did not ink up the J and the O there just to give the bell and I stamped my rare wishes and this one here I was playing around and um, um, I created this card so what I, I wanted like a woodsy country type card so I use that same um, plaid paper gold edging and um, I have this embossed wood piece in the background there hope you can see that this Tim Holtz die and it's from the holly leaf die set I think that with the branch 
and here's a holly leaf I ink the edge with the gold and I have this die from diversions I think it's diversions um, so what I did I, I cut it in the gold foil paper and I cut another layer with fun foam to give that dimension there I hope you could see it and I have them like they're hanging from the branch and it's saying Merry Xmas so and my spell binders die in the background and the inside so that's two three four five six seven eight cards eight cards for the seniors Christina and um, well no seven cards for the seniors and this is for Jacqueline Christmas and this is her birthday card so guys I'll have the link to Christina who is crafty policy on YouTube challenge in the description box below so you could go and check it out thank you so much for a wonderful challenge Christina and happy birthday Jacqueline until I see you again guys thank you all so much for watching commenting liking the video if you do and take care bye